lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Hi, and welcome to Handmade by Dipsy Chuli. I'm Mel, and thanks for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my latest make, which is another, yes, this is, is this number four or number five? I think it's number four, but yeah, another uh, Wixton kimono. Although they've changed the name now, it's not a Wixton kimono anymore, it's a Wixton something else, can't remember. I'll put some text in and, and, and link in the um, notes but yeah I think they changed the name because um, in reality it's not a kimono um, but yeah I'll uh, I'll put some text in as to what it's called now but I absolutely love this pattern if you've watched any of my previous videos um, you will you will know how much I love this pattern and I wanted to make myself a nice new version out of this goldy mustardy colour uh, linen blend now I did share this fabric in one of my um, plans videos and I'd said that I plan to make a gypsum skirt out of that fabric so obviously plans changed there um, and I decided to go for a Wixton instead um, so yeah that's what I'm going to share in today's video a little bit of information about how I made this and then as usual share the finer details now one thing I did want to mention, you'll see as I do this video, I've been, I'll be inserting some um, sew along type video as well, so you're not just kind of sat watching me talking like this, um, and I've been able to do that because I've brought myself a, a fancy new little gadget, which you put your mobile phone in, um, you then attach it to your tripod, and it's like got um, a remote on, so it's really good for kind of filming overhead and, and things like that. So I think this is going to make my life a hell of a lot easier, and it will mean I can bring a um, bit more variation to my videos here on the channel. So I hope that you um, that you enjoy that. This for anybody that is interested interested um, and you do vlogging yourself and have found kind of so along difficult um, then this might be something to, to uh, worth looking at it is um, I found it a good investment it's called the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 I think it's called specifically for mobile phones. so um, the fabric as I've said is a linen blend from the remnant basket at Abacan they have loads and loads of this in constantly in loads of different colors um, and this washed really well it um, pressed really well of course it has got um, a linen blend so it does crease slightly I mean this has been worn for two days and hasn't been pressed so you can see it does crease a little bit but nowhere near as much as if it was um, full linen but yeah it, it, it washed really well and pressed well as well how many times can you tell well in one sentence um, the lining is a taffeta so a pink taffeta which again was from the remnant basket at Abacan so I think for the mustard I paid about £6.70 for the taffeta I got a huge piece of taffeta so probably about four meters and that was about £12 or something like that um, I, I really like using taffeta for lining because I find it really good especially for the jacket because it just smooths on over any other type of fabric um, so yeah that was good for the collar I didn't quite have enough fabric to make the collar the mustard on either side and I have got this pink version of the same linen blend fabric and I quite like the way that these colors work together um, so my plan was to attach the collar so the mustard side was on the outside um, and the pink would be on the back here um, but as you can see that went a little bit wrong and it ended up I must have sewn it on the wrong way and um, so I've ended up with the pink on the outside um, I wish I'd have done it the other way around I think I would have preferred the mustard to be on the outside and um, so I haven't got um, that flash of uh, clashing colour um, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out I do still like it and what I've decided to do is press the collar so it's not the full width 
so I can still see some of the mustard there but you've got the flash of pink and then what I also did is added some of my uh, Liberty of London fabric covered buttons that are in mustard just so it helps the, the two colours to blend in together. So um, let me try and think what so yeah, the, the, the fabric was um, really easy to pin and cut out. So I did use kind of the standard fabric folded, pattern pieces laid out and pinned them into the fabric um, and cut them out with um, my dressmaking scissors. I didn't cut it out with a rotary cutter because um, it's really stable. So, so really easy to, um, to, to cut out, no problems there at all. What I absolutely love about this pattern is the super deep pocket so you can see there they're huge um and i find all sorts that are lurking in my in my pockets um so yeah they are a patch pocket um so you basically make the pocket up and um line it so make it in the main fabric and the lining although i've just used the same um, and then what you do is pin the pocket in place pin the pocket in place by going off what the markings are on the pattern. What I then did is um, took it to the sewing machine and stitched it in place. But what I found works well is rather than um, trying to, to kind of judge um, where to stitch from the edge to top stitch it in place, I just moved the um, I can never remember whether it's the width or the length, I think it's the width. Um, so basically moved the position of my needle um, to then make it easier to stitch in place. So I then just uh, top stitched the pocket. What I then did is to secure it in place at the corners um, like that. What I've, what I've tended to do in the past is I've not measured those out properly so then they end up uneven. So what I did is I used my um, quilting chalk pencil and a ruler and measured to mark exactly where they, they, they need to go. And then I took them to the sewing machine and stitched them in place. So now I've got a nice secure pocket. followed the pattern instructions entirely apart from one area so this pattern is designed to be able to be reversible um, so you can obviously reverse it and wear it either side I don't like that idea for a jacket because for me the whole point of lining a jacket is to make it easy to slip on and off on top of other garments and if I'm making it reversible I'd be making it in another fabric which is like this which is likely to cling to my clothes um, so I didn't want to go for the lined option. So the only thing I did differently to make it more of a standard line jacket so you can see there the lining is a little bit shorter so you've got the hem is I just cut the lining fabric an inch shorter than the main fabric and then just followed the instructions entirely so all that meant is when you're doing it reversible and the pattern instructions both pieces of fabric meet at the bottom there and you under stitch um, but what I've done instead because it's an inch shorter then when you attach the sleeves it pulls it up and um, gives you that standard hem so that's the only thing that I did differently. Other than that, I followed the um, instructions to an absolute T. The other thing that I've done um, to add a nice little touch on this jacket, as you can see here, is I've made my own label. So I um, just used a scrap of the fabric that I've made the buttons out of, and I've hand embroidered the wording, the me made, and just stitched that in place. And I think that gives it a really cute touch. So I've worn this jacket loads already. Um, my Wixtons are my most worn pattern ever. I just think they're really easy to wear. They're really easy to just throw on. Um, the huge pockets are super useful. And I think you can really dress them up or dress them down as well. They can be really casual um, with, um, with, with jeans, but you can dress it up as well, depending on what fabric you use. So for example, my um, pink sparkly tweed one, 
um, that gets loads of wear when I'm on nights out and going out for meals and things like that because it just looks a little bit fancier as well. So that's it, that's all I wanted to share with you today is um, a, another Wixton and I just wanted to have a play around with the different types of video. Not quite sure how that will have worked out, um, I'm not used yet to how to edit that different type of video in with me still talking in the background so hopefully it's worked out okay. Um, if you have enjoyed the video today then please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe um, to the channel and hit that little alarm bell um, so you don't miss out on any future videos and do leave any comments and if you've made a version of the Wixton that you want to share um, feel free to leave links to any blog posts or your Instagram or um, any vlogs that you've got yourself as well and um, I'd love to check those out. So that's it, have a wonderful week and I will see you very soon. Bye! Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a prisoner when his sentence ends All my dreams are coming true